Hello and welcome to another Postgres for Everybody walkthrough. Uh, in this walkthrough, we're going to use, instead of the Python Anywhere or a Jupyter Notebook or even the terminal on your own computer and using PSQL, I'm just going to show you a way to use a sort of high uh, desktop application to work with your SQL database. So I've already installed uh, this dBeaver. And it's free, it's open source, it's, it's quite amazing, and it works pretty well. Not all of these kinds of uh, desktop applications work well with Postgres databases. Like uh, there's a PG admin that doesn't work well because your database doesn't have enough power, but dBeaver seems to work out okay. So the way these navigators work is they have what are called connections. And this, is, this can do not just Postgres, but as you'll see, a whole bunch of things. So you go, you find your way into your assignment, and we're going to do this very first assignment. And I could do this, use this in the database, but this is a PSQL is a client. We're not going to use that. Our client is going to be dBeaver. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into, into dBeaver, and we're going to say add another connection, and it already knows about Postgres. Now, if you first install it, it may have to install some drivers. Don't worry about it. Seems like that works just peachy fine and away you go. So this you're going to go back now to the data that you've got and the data that you've got, I'll show that to you in a second, is you say pg.pg4e.com. That's the name of the host. The database name, we're going to have to copy and paste that back and forth. The database and the user are the same. So we'll do that and that. So that came from your assignment and we can copy our password and come over here and put our password in. And that's literally all you need to do. And it's, again, we're creating a client through which we can send SQL commands. Okay, and so here we go. We've got this, it says this is a database connection. And within that, you could have more than one uh, databases, but right now we only have one database. And if you keep opening this up, you see that the schemas, um, these two, the PG catalog, this has got stuff that Postgres needs, and sometimes you'll we'll, we'll actually select from that, but don't hurt it. And the information schema, that's like its own internal stuff. Leave that alone. The place that you work here is in this public, and we're going to be making tables, which currently we have done, right? And so we want to run some SQL. And so we've got, if you have a bunch of these over here on the left hand side, um, you want to have this one selected. And then you click on this thing that basically says make a new SQL script. And so this is a script, and the destination of the SQL commands um, is that database. And so if we go back to our assignment now and we look, this create table is the first thing that we're supposed to do. So I'll say create table right? And then I am going to hit the go button. That's what this little execute SQL statement is. And look at that. It told us that it worked. And now if we pop this open, there's supposed to be a table here. It should be a need to refresh it or something. Uh, refresh the connection. We'll refresh the connection. Uh oh, somehow I lost my connection. Refresh the connection.
So I refresh the connection and then we see the PG4E debug. Okay, so now I'm going to go and uh, do another script. This script is right here. I'll close my little public window there. And I'll go to the next thing I'm supposed to do. I'm going to run another create table, PG4E result, and I type that in here. And then I run it. And then I come over here and I do a refresh. And I see that one. It wouldn't hurt if it auto refreshed, but oh, wait, we go. We're only going to do a few of these. And then, um, and you'll also, so then what we're going to do is we've created these two tables and we're going to do check answer, which is going to check to see if our tables were created because my auto grader is now connecting to that database connection. And at this point, if we do another refresh, you see that this meta table showed up just, just like it said it was going to do. And so you now created this. And so there's there's things you can do and can't do and import and export are a little bit different. And so most of the assignments you will be able to do in this class using either a DBeaver or another client or PSQL. I tend to focus on PSQL because sometimes you're working on a server and you, you're you logged into that server and you got to type the commands in command line. And so there's nothing wrong with knowing how to use command line, but there's also nothing wrong with knowing how to use a and a more advanced client. Okay, so that was just a really quick walkthrough on how you might use dBeaver as your client, uh, sometimes as a substitute for PSQL or a complement to PSQL. Cheers.